What's up everybody, it's Gudu from Contrast Gamers and welcome back to part 12 of our Assassin's Creed Syndicate walkthrough. Um, this, uh, already 59% through uh, of most of the main storyline, you know, we're already at sequence 6. Uh, in this episode, I believe we're actually going to try finishing uh, sequence 6. And then we're actually going to take a break from the sequences and actually do some of the side missions, just the last stuff. So, uh, you know, I'm expecting uh, part 13 to be a little short. We'll see how it turns out and how much time we have. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to, you know, get a head start on uh, sequence 7 when that arrives. So looking forward to that. Let's, uh, let's finish number 6 today. So I don't know if I should be looking at the map for this. What's that? Oh, nothing. Never mind. I don't have it, just jokes. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be looking at the sequence list or if there's something up in the cart. Let's look at this. Oh, calm down. Three, six, a run on the bank. All right. What have we here? Boiler. This dredge character's meddling will be the death of us. He was loitering around the exchange today asking far too many questions about the bank. Should he discover my plan, you will face a far worse fate than losing your job. Signed, Plutus. So this Plutus is Starek's banker, hmm? I wager Dredge will lead me to him. While you're out and about, do attempt not to destroy modern medicine or the London Transportation Network. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Innocent lives hang in the balance. They depend on the city. I'm not the one who let Lucy Thorne walk away. A mistake I intend to rectify immediately. Ooh. Shit is I'll getting spicy. Well, yeah, there's a few more extra stuff. That's nice. Good deed. And... Actually, you know what? Let's do this one. Usually these aren't typically the major ones, but won't hurt. Here we are. Let's see what this is all about. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and I disappeared off the map for a sec. Oh, you'll do as we say, Bailey. Or we're gonna have to pay you and your family a visit. You leave them be. Hey! After him! Alrighty then. <laughs> I'm already in one, alright. And now my carriage is super slow. What is going on? You want me to drive it? Okay. Is he crying? Jesus. Get out of the way. Of the deep, 
Fuck these sharp current turns, oh my god. Locate the deed. God, that sounds freaking dirty as fuck. Locate the deed! Oh fuck, that was a lot more than what I thought. <laughs> Do not let the target exit the factory, all right? Come on, show me his head. There we go. Okay, at least I was allowed to, uh, kill him. I got worried for a second. I was expecting that thing to, um, oh, Bob say, what am I doing? Oh, you know. I sent Ross men a message. You and your family are safe. Oh, you are blooming brilliant. The founding members of the London General Omnibus Company. Good, moral men. All of them. We'll have buses rolling before you know it. Thank you, Miss Fry. My pleasure. That was it? That was so short. I was expecting something a little longer. goodwill towards strangers nonsense and focus on what London really needs solid leadership whose hard work will raise everyone up to success as go the titans of business so goes the world you weak fool get a job the best guards money can buy won't do Mr. Dredge any good. <laughs> Screw you, kid. <laughs> Speak up if any here have heard of a man named Plutus mentioned in the bank next door. Just let it happen. Keep your eyes ahead of you and walk. Ah, come now. You are barking up the wrong tree, sir. Am I? <laughs> now, wait a minute. I know that voice. Fry. Is that you? Fry! How do you know who I am? Who is this? It's me, Sergeant Frederick Appleline. Freddy. Sergeant. Undercover. I knew it. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Robbery, it's a fortress. The boys at the station thought I was joking. 
Wouldn't be so funny if it was their life savings. Who's behind it? That's confidential. Oh, come on, Freddy. I can help you. Imagine the headlines. Thieves caught in the act. Abilene Wright all along. Well, I suppose I can fill you in a little. Every fiscal quarter, a branch of the bank is robbed. Never the same branch. The thieves are supplied by... Cocker Merchants. Thanks for the info, Freddy. It's Sergeant! I, I, I'm keeping my eye on you! <laughs> Problem solved. There we go. Alrighty. Let's see what this one has to hold. Back in the fans. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna restock quickly. Ah, uh, it's only one knife. Never mind. I won't. What do you have for me? If only I knew which shipment it was. Trace the weapons to their owner. Capital idea, Freddy. Time to find some shit. Here we are at the shipping docks. Now, where are the cock and crates intended for Mr. Plutus? You won't find better. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, okay. That was an interesting jump. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's really much. Okay, I don't know what happened, but that's fine. <laughs> Won't be anything. Tea. Maybe later. Are you sure? I could actually really go for some tea right now, I'm not gonna lie. See if we can get some knives back here. Yeah, alright, cool. This should be it. Where the devil is it? Oh, I guess not. I guess that would have been too easy if it was only two carts. There we are. Right. I didn't see that one earlier. That doesn't make sense. Is he going? Hey. Hello. And now to wait for the crates to be retrieved. How do you not see a guy do that? That's a little weird. It's a shame I can't stop in for a pint. Oh god, there's a lot of people. Same routine as before. The twopenny opens a vault, we robs it and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. 
Alrighty, back in the train. It looks like Mr. Green has something for us. A thorn in the side. Hmm, a thorn. Ha ha ha. Get it? Puns! <laughs> Let's see what this mission has to offer. What good is a key if you don't know what lock it opens? I dare say Miss Thorne is in the same predicament. Henry! Mr. Green, here, this is it. This matches a casket owned by the Queen, kept in the Tower of London. It's a fortress. I don't suppose you have any friends there? A guardsman? If you can find him once you're inside? I'll talk to you again when I have the shroud. Thank you for your help. Right, yes. But good luck. Evie? Oh, they both get in the fields. Yeah, they're yeah. That's uh, yeah. Mm, nah, yeah, I won't even say anything. <laughs> Just gonna let it happen. Never let your feelings get in the way. Assassins. Tower of London. Lots of guards. Predictable patrol routes. Thorn may already be inside. Better stick to the shadows. Thank you. Dinner's on me next time I see you. The shroud is in a chest that matches the key. Find it and bring it to me. Halt! Escort to the keys. You're not with the Royal Guard. How many of you are there? Tell me. Let me go. This is treason. Just you wait until I get out. There'll be hell to pay. Okay, it looks like we got a lot of different objectives here. That was very close. <laughs> I'll knock you out. Sleep, sleep, motherfucker. Oh, what the fuck? I can. Oh, the body. But it told me to carry the lamp. I was like, alright. How do I. Oh, I gotta fucking interact with this shit. 
Is someone out there? Yes. A friend. Oh, that's good. Say, friend, could you get me out? Guards ran off with the keys. Oh, and he had the keys. What am I talking about? How do you got ahead of time? Just jokes. Thank you. It's treason is what it is. And desecration of the chapel. Miss Thorne told me to be grateful they didn't kill me outright. The nerve. She's after an object of great power. She cannot be allowed to steal it. Not the crown jewels. Something much more important. We must stop her. I still have men loyal to me. I'll rally them. Hardcore assassin, and I like touching dead bodies. Cause that's normal. Bitch. So, you have murdered me after all. But what good will that do you? The Shroud isn't here. You sought a tool of healing in order to extend your own power. Not mine. Ours. You are so short-sighted. You'd hoard power and never use it. ...when we would better the condition of humanity. I hope you never find the Shroud. You have no idea what it truly can do. <coughs> Tell me then. <coughs> no. She's still a bitch, till the end. I guess this guy waited. This guy's pretty dope. Problem solved. Take this down. Then I want it sealed until you receive further orders. Miss Thorne. You supplied me with the means to secure London's future. The city thanks you. The Order thanks you. I thank you. But the Shroud can only be worn by one. Therefore, I hereby dissolve this partnership. I promise to endow you with an income into your old age. But that is the most I can do. The Father of Understanding guide you. Yes, what is it? Oh, God. Miss Thorne, sir. What of her? I'm sorry, sir. She is dead. And the key? Where is the key? There was no key found on her body, sir. Ah! 
shroud will be mine, even if I have to raise hellfire to do it. Burn the letter. Oh man, that creepy silence! Fucking Christ. I thought she was one of the last people we were supposed to go and kill. I thought that that was supposed to be like sequence 8 or something. Unless we by accident clicked on it. I hope not. Pretty sure it was sequence 6. I believe... I don't think we are done just yet. Uh, we'll do this. It's still in sequence six. Let's go and jump this. Alrighty, hopefully this is the last portion of sequence six. I'm pretty sure it is if it's an assassination. Uh, come on, you can do it. There we go. Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Aberline family's robust constitution. Two pennies rob in the Bank of England. <laughs> <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in. I don't want to know. Of course. But do you know how I can get in? It's a good question. <laughs> the bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes. One man keeps a close watch on the vault door and watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to seal it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupini well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. <laughs> Fair enough. Tupini won't be leaving that vault. Okay, stealth opportunity. Head of security, vault water, assistance opportunity. Fancy. Fitting for two pennies, two. Now, now, I'll take you in and you'll see everything. Okay, let's see. Open. He closes the vault door at the first sign of trouble. Kill him. Oh, great. Pretty good. I actually was not expecting to drop right down into the door right like that smoothly. So that's pretty convenient. There's a secret passage apparently. Holy shit. Oh, 
interesting. What do we have here? What kind of passage is this? Okay, well, I guess. Oh, I must have went backwards. Yeah, I went backwards. Whatever. I found it. That's alright. If you do the same thing I just did, then, uh, yeah, you'll find it. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as their work. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead. Day, getting ready to walk out that front door. There we go. is closed until further notice. Master Assassin Outfits. Hmm. The currency a laughing stock. Inflation out of control, Coopany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffooned Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this city have suffered enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your bones, I wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other? We can have it all. What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again. Understood? You may see yourself out. All right, folks, uh, looks like we are finally done sequence seven, or sorry, sequence six. Uh, sequence seven and eight are now available. Yeah, so we'll probably do some of the side missions the next time, you know, like finish off the uh, Charles Darwin and Dreadful Crimes and all that. Probably just record the last missions. You know, I won't run through the whole segment. Um, we'll probably collect some more collectibles. And then after that, we'll jump right back into the main storyline sequence seven sequence eight and i believe that will be everything now there is a few 
it's a little weird. In my progression log, it says World War One. I. I don't know if that'll be a ripple in the time frame how they had in Assassin's Creed Unity, where Arnold was, I think, in World War Two at the time. So, you know, God knows what they have planned for that, but I'm super excited to see why that's in there. Stay tuned for uh, part 13, everyone. Keep on gaming. See you next time.